Logan was wonderful. I mean, I haven't seen a play I've enjoyed so much in I don't know how long. The casting was just superb. The direction, the writing, you know, everything about the production was captivating. You know, it had the right amount of humor, the right amount of intensity, and it really took you into that period very accurately. And I really appreciate having seen a play of this magnitude. It really should be made into a film. Yeah, it was pretty riveting. It was pretty riveting to realize that this actually happened, you know, and these men lost their lives. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, sir. Okay. I'll be a fan forever now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about who you are, your role, and why you love this so much. You seem to really enjoy it. Yes. Uh, well, my name is Dwayne Perry. Uh, I play Corporal Robert Franciscus. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be the highest ranking member within the company of uh, soldiers um, and I kind of am the leader of the, of the group uh, and we have a really good time. We have a really, really good time. It's based on a true story. Uh, uh, Camp Logan is in uh, Houston. <laughs> We're taking a picture, so keep, keep, keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> it's in Houston in 1917. These group of men get together, uh, they were uh, shipped out to Houston, Texas. Then they start uh, coming across all these racial injustices and they get treated poorly, even after they have served the country with honor. Right. Uh, and so when that happens, they take matters into their own hands. Right. And your name, sir? I'm Sammy Wayne, uh, AKA Greeley Brown. <laughs> yeah. Well, I play a character who um, looks at things from a humorous point of view uh, until all hell break loose. And then I become a, a killer, which is what soldiers do, but we did it proudly. Yes, sir. And uh, represent a group of guys who, who were forgotten, um, who were made part of our history, yeah. and we want to um, give, give them that just do. So, so. But that part where you were hung, mm -hmm. that really stuck with me. Good. Right. Yeah. That was a, a superb idea. <laughs> As a director, well, Alex yeah. Morris. And, and he lit it. So, yeah, uh, I was lighting it So, Alex Morris is a director. Uh, it was produced by Robot Theater Company with Ben Guillory and uh, Sparkling Entertainment, uh, uh, Alex Morris and Vanessa Paul, and Juby, Juby. which is uh, Julius Tennant and Viola Davis, yeah. Oscar nominee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So come check us out. So, who you are? Oh, I'm Alex Morris. I directed Camp Logan. Um, and tonight is our opening night, and uh, you know the idea was that I just wanted to be impactful, simple but impactful. I think we all feel the pain of of that, of the way they they lynched us and took our lives falsely like that. And so I just wanted to keep it simple, but but powerful. And I thought the brothers pulled that off really well. Yeah. But these guys just resorted to what they were trained to do. Remember, these guys were fighters. They were in they were in. Uh, a, a Persian special guard. So these guys were were rough, tough fighters. And when pushed, they reverted to the training that they had and reverted to doing what they did best, and that was fight. So I mean, I mean, people say that they shot haphazardly. No. People say that it was un un unorganized. No, no. These guys knew exactly what to do. They were good, strong, tough fighters. Yeah, I love you. How long did it take you to Well, we've been in rehearsal since March. And, and, and give me her name. Celeste Bedford Walker. Okay. Celeste Bedford Walker. Uh, we started trying to make this happen over a year ago. Yeah. We started rehearsal. We had a stage reading last year, and then uh, we've been working for a year just putting the thing together, trying to get all the elements. And we, We've actually been rehearsing since January. We would do one rehearsal a week in January, then we started in earnest in March. So it's been a it's been a long, long journey. But as you can see, the guys came through in every way. It was really beautiful. Thank there, you. There's this friendship that they have where they'd be willing to die for yes. each other. Which I think is the is the most important thing about those guys. They're willing to die for a country that rejected them. You want to talk about patriotism? To me, that is the ultimate statement of, of patriotism. To be willing to die for a country that does not want you. You know, I mean, what 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 kind of greatness is that? You know what I mean? Okay, and while I have you, just in case I didn't get a chance to talk to your other half, why don't you tell us a little bit about her and the role she played? My wife is a bulldog producer. She never takes no for an answer. Listen, quite frankly, if it wasn't for the efforts of my wife, a lot of this would not have been able to happen. And her name? Vanessa Paul. 
That's my baby. From here all the way down Spring Street. That is my girl. She worked to make this happen. Yeah, so you know what? I think we're gonna end on that. Thank you, brother. And the thing of love. There it is. So tell us who you played and who you are. Um, my character is Captain Harris Zolke. He's the he's the captain of um, I Company, the 24th Infantry. And um, my name is Jacob Sidney. He seems like an all right guy. He's just a little drunk. <laughs> but he seems all right. Well, uh, I'm glad he did because uh, I think Alex. Uh, I, I really appreciate our director Alex Morris um, starting me off in the role. Oh, we're going to serve oh, okay. the way oh, Alex and his mother. <laughs> Mrs. Morris. We had to break away to get Alex and his mother. All right, guys. All right. So uh, Alex told me that in the past, uh, Captain Zolke has been maybe um, a little more functionary to the play and he's been maybe a little I don't know a little less three-dimensional um, but he he started off the process with me saying that uh, he really feels like Zolke is uh, is a product of his time and, right. and to me you know that doesn't that doesn't excuse anyone from individual responsibility for their actions but but there is something to that you know I think the more, when you're talking about a villain, you're talking about bad guys and players or in stories, the, always, to me, the more interesting ones are the ones who are not 100% not evil. Right. Know? Because people, for the most part, they think they're doing the right thing. And Captain Zolke thinks that too. You know, yeah, he, he thinks did. that he's the good one. He thinks that he's helping out these young black soldiers. And he thinks he's the one who's taking them under his wing. And, that he's kind of protecting them and whatnot. Of course, he doesn't see, you know, he doesn't really see the, the, the box that he puts them in as well. And it all comes back and bites him pretty hard on the ass in the end. So, <laughs> as an actor, what do you think of the writing? Um, I enjoy the rhythm of the writing very much. You, you know, know, I couldn't think of the word for it, rhythm. That is a good word for it. Yeah. And this beautiful woman, or these two people next to you. This is my lady, Crystal. Hello, Crystal. And this is the other person coming out yes. in a couple of months here. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Nothing's more beautiful to me than a woman at this time. I don't care what anybody says. Thank you very much. Thank you both very much. Thank you.